Exciting news today. Tight end Jody Fortson is back with the Kansas City Chiefs, signing a deal with the practice squad. Many fans remember him from his time with the team. He joined as an undrafted free agent in 2019 and played during the 2021 and 2022 seasons. Jody is a solid player, often used in special situations, especially in the red zone. Now, why did this move happen now? That's still a bit of a mystery. However, reporters Nate Taylor and others confirmed that Jody is already in the building and making his way around the locker room. Sam McDowell shared that he has officially signed a practice squad contract. Jody returned to Kansas City last night and is ready to work this morning. It's also worth mentioning that running back Keon Ingram has rejoined the Chiefs practice squad as well. A little background, Jody did spend some time with the Miami Dolphins but didn't make their 53-man roster. He may have been on their practice squad for a while, but he eventually became a free agent. The Chiefs saw the opportunity and decided to bring him back. One of the biggest challenges in Jody's career has been staying healthy. He has faced several season-ending injuries in the past. I believe last year he was placed on IR, and he also had an elbow issue that affected him during the 2021 season. But now he's back, and fans are curious about this shift on the practice squad. He'll be wearing number 89 since Peyton Hendershot, also on the practice squad, has number 88. A few things to consider here. Charles Goldman from Atos Sports pointed out that the Chiefs signed two players for the practice squad, but only had room for one. This could mean a roster change is coming, or perhaps another team picked a player from the Chiefs practice squad, possibly a tight end. Looking at the Chiefs' active roster, they currently have three tight ends, Noah Gray, Travis Kelsey, and Jared Y. On the practice squad, there are a couple of tight ends, Baylor Cup and Peyton Hendershot, who was recently traded from the Cowboys. So, could Baylor or Peyton have been poached by another team? Or maybe one of them got injured? There are various possibilities. It's also possible they weren't performing well, leading the team to explore other options. Since Jody is familiar with the team, coaches, and playbook, he should be able to catch up quickly. Let's see what this means for the Chiefs moving forward. So, we're likely going to see a corresponding roster move soon. I don't expect an announcement right away, but it's definitely something to keep an eye on. As for Jody Fortson's impact on the team, it might not be significant right now. He's mainly a depth player, useful in case of injuries, and can fit into some specific roles, especially in the red zone. Standing at six feet four inches, he can really reach for the ball, and he can also contribute on special teams. We'll have to wait and see what that corresponding move is later today. Is Baylor Cup injured, poached, or let go? And what about Peyton Hendershot? Those are the other two tight ends on the practice squad. I hope this doesn't indicate an injury for someone on the active roster, like Noah Gray, Jared Y, or Travis Kelsey. I really don't think it means anything serious about Jared Y. He's a rookie and it takes time to get involved in the offense. I'd love to hear your thoughts on Jody Fortson's return. While I don't see this as a massive move, I felt it was important to go live and share this news because he's a familiar face and a fan favorite. He's had some good moments and built a solid rapport with Patrick Mahomes when he was healthy. Cole, do you think Jody is the best tight end in Chiefs history? He's definitely a beloved player, and every year fans say, this is Jody's year. We've all been rooting for him, but staying healthy has been a challenge. It's unfortunate he didn't catch on with the Dolphins. I'm not sure why that happened. Someone asked why Jody is back. We'll find out soon, but it's likely related to another move on the practice squad. Noah mentioned that injuries have set him back, but I'm excited about his body type and playing style. While Justin Ross can do some of that too, Jody is a bulkier version and can really dominate defenders. As for me, I'll be at the Broncos game on November 10th. And yes, Jordy, I hope Jody stays healthy. He has a lot of potential. You never want to see a player return due to someone else being hurt though. I always appreciate your support for our Chiefs coverage. It's a bit strange he didn't get more chances with the Dolphins. As Mando pointed out, he's a great red zone target especially now that the Dolphins signed another tight end. Justin, I agree. Jody definitely deserves another chance. Now, let's dive into some film from the Atlanta Falcons game. But first, we have a lot happening with the team. I usually wait to include practice squad news in tomorrow's video, but I just had to talk about Jody Fortson. He's a fan favorite, and everyone loves him. It'll be interesting to see if he gets any playing time since they're always moving players around on the practice squad. If you're a coach or staff member for the Chiefs, Bringing someone back who knows the system makes a lot of sense. Jody is familiar with the scheme and the playbook, 
so if he's called up from the practice squad for a game, he can quickly get back into the flow and contribute. As a quick update, Kareem Hunt is now on the 53-man roster. The Chiefs waived running back Keon Ingram, who they signed last week as a backup for game day, but since he wasn't needed, they decided to go with Kareem Hunt instead. Keon cleared waivers and is back on the practice squad, which is great because he's likely the most experienced running back available, aside from Clyde Edwards-Hilaire. They're also giving opportunities to Carson Steele and third down back Samaje Perrine, who could return soon from the NFI list after week four. So Kareem Hunt will be playing this Sunday, while Keon Ingram is back on the practice squad, and Jody Fortson has rejoined as well. Interestingly, the Chiefs still have an open spot on the 53-man roster. Are they saving it for C? They currently have 52 out of 53 spots filled, so there's still room for one more move. I wonder if this means C is looking good and could be coming back soon. When it comes to running backs, do you really need that many on the roster? If they keep it to four, they could have Carson Steele, Samaje Perrine, Kareem Hunt, and maybe C. That doesn't seem like too many to me, but we'll see what the Chiefs decide. They're always adjusting based on injuries and other factors, so we'll keep an eye on it. To wrap it up, Jody Fortson is back with the Kansas City Chiefs after spending some time with the Dolphins, and he has been with the team on and off since 2019. I'd love to hear your thoughts on Jody's signing in the comments below. Are you rooting for him? Will he get some playing time? Who knows? But one thing's for sure, it's great to see a familiar face back, and he's definitely a fan favorite. Until next time, let's go.